Hi everyone, I'm Philip, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate an open source app for performing a firmware upgrade on the SCM32 microcontroller. I created this app during the development of the firmware for the Umbrella Smart Cover, which is an upcoming all-in-one smart home product. This app makes use of the USB D4U or also known as the Device Firmware Upgrade Protocol. It can be used to upgrade a system where the STM32 is being used for low-level control functions and an Android device is used as the interface to the user. To get this app, go to the GitHub website and download the source code. Let's go to the release sections. In here we have the option to either download the APK directly and install it on the Android device or download the source code if you have to modify it, which I'll do in this video. Once we saved it and have extracted the project folder, let's open Android Studio and import the project into it. Once we found it and imported it, we're ready to go. In here, basically, just make sure that these two numbers match your target system. And the rest should be all fine. Now we're ready to build. A message will pop up and lets us use the device to download it. Next, we need a project to download to the SCM device. To do this, I created a simple Blink program that will tell us if the device is programmed. I compile the project and create a hex file format. Next, we need, a, we need the D4U file manager from ST to convert the hex file format into a D4U file. I'm using version 3.03 .03 since that is the, the latest version that supports hex files. I give in the proper information for the target and select the right hex file. Once I selected the hex file, I'm ready to generate the D4U file. I would, give the, I would give it this name and save it, which I have already done. Next, we take the file, copy it, and paste it into our device of our internal storage into the download folder, which is already here. Make sure there is only one DFU file in this download folder, as currently only the first DFU file will be selected. Once we downloaded the app from Android Studio, the app will appear. For now, let's just minimize it. And let's take out a development board I'll be using today. For the P107 Olimix board, I have to jump for the boot zero pin to bring it to bring it into DFU mode. I have a USB cable attached with the OTG on the other side. And I'll be connecting that to the Android. While I do it, while I do that, I hold the reset button and connect it to the tablet. I open the app again and I get a permission a dialog that asks me to give permission to access the USB device. I press with OK. And now I can see my STM device in the FE mode displayed in the text blocks. The first thing we do is we do a mass erase. It said it has completed in, in 100 milliseconds. And now let's download our blinking app. It's telling me that it's downloaded the app and it has reset to the start address of the blinking app. After programming, I can verify that the program is running by observing the flashing LEDs. Thank you for watching and I hope that the source code will be useful to you.